We give all the glories to the Lord. Thank you. We greet each other sitting next to you. Have a peace in your heart. You are the evangelist who will save the world. The latter glory of this house will be greater than the former. At this very moment, it's been almost two months that we had this such type of worship. They say the eighth month, um, week of this worship service and this youth uh, department, the news group gathered together to worship. And we stopped the worship service February 21st. From February 21st and the next week, as we announced, by reason that we will have a worship service in three parts. We are going through very difficulties and hard time individually and in a group. And the financial situation is getting worse and the studies of students as well. And they are not that healthy. Um, most of all, we need the spiritual power and spiritual grace. We must get into the spiritual grace. But in this difficult moment, somehow we, we lost the hold of the, the spiritual flow. Not everyone is doing this, but each household, each family has their worship service and they are guiding to the worship service. But there are some people who are losing all of their spiritual control and spiritual power. So the department, the education department uh, started taking care of all the department based on this um, instru instructors and they meet uh, children and the students and in many different forms they try to meet the people and children. If we are living leisurely or a life is getting comfort, without noticing this fact that we might be away from the Lord. It's like a pandemic. It has some good point and bad point in life. But in these difficulties, in these difficulties, then we find our uh, bad things in us and it will become our bad habits. So for, for this reason, then you must get your nerve. You must keep yourself in control and winning in your spiritual better field. You must just um, sustain your life in the spiritual flow. In God's sovereignty, everything is going on. What is the reason that we cannot have this worship service? And you must think about this very carefully. And for this, you must think this part that the, what God really wants us to do and wants us to think about. As you know well, 14th century, there is a black flag. Even there is a, a big world war. They, they didn't stop the service. But now we cannot have this worship service freely. And through these trials, then you must take a close look at your old worship service and we will have um, someday we'll have a uh, time that we gather together for this worship service and for this time 
then you must think about how we can show ourselves before the Lord. You must to get yourself ready for this. And as a children or as an adult, they want to worship, have a worship service together. Then any soon, then we will definitely have a time to get together. But before having this worship service, like we, um, the, the service we used to have, and the worship service in the the worship service for us to have in the future, you must think about all these things as a living worship service. You must get yourself ready for this service before God. This is a given time for us to prepare ourselves for this kind of worship service. Of course, it's really important for me to guide all the church members, and it is a purpose of our life. And the success in worship is a success in blood and flesh. I uh, just looked at myself, then I didn't really completely believe in it. I thought to myself that this success in worship in life, in worship is success in life, but I talked about this many times, but I look back to all my own past. I felt guilty that I didn't believe, quite believe about this until now. Then, then one day we get together, it's of course there will be a pleasant moment, but that it will be the time for us to change ourselves and show ourselves before the Lord in a different way. In the book of the Bible, God said that they must close the gate of the temple. Close the gate of the, the door. It is real scary words from the Lord. That is the most scary thing. God said once this. Malachi chapter 1 verse 10. God said this. What is the reason that God really wants to uh, close the door? Israel people try to uh, worship the Lord, but uh, they just show themselves with uh, blind animals and despised food. Everything is in the, um, everything despised. So by looking at all these evil uh, deeds, God said, close the doors. In Malachi chapter 1, verse 8, said, You offer those that are lame or sick, is that not evil? Present it to your governor. Then he will he accept you or show you favor? Then they are showing themselves as a sacrifice before Lord. Then do you think that God will accept this? Then rather than doing this, we'd rather uh, shut the doors. The scary words that shutting the doors means that really God wants to close the doors of the temple. That means that you must stop uh, giving all these dirty things based on the legalism and based on the religion. You must get rid of all these things. Then how can we come before the Lord? What kind of worship service do we have to offer to the Lord? God will definitely give us time to get together or together. Then how can we show ourselves before the Lord? First, as a living sacrifice. 
must come before the Lord as a living sacrifice. Age by age, there was a corruption in worship. The worship became powerless. There was no life in worship, which resulted in corruptions in that certain age. Whenever they have this powerless worship service, then they had no choice but to have these corruptions in their age. And nobody could stop this. Nobody could stop these disasters after this. Why do you think that God created all these creatures? It's because for worship. God saved us? Yes, because it's for worship. God is talking to us in evangelism that's to recover the worship service. So, worship service is everything. I'm looking at this last week, and all flesh will come to worship before the Lord. Isaiah, the, the last part of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 66, all fleshes, all fleshes will come be, to come to worship before me. And the precious, the most precious things for us to do is worship. Worship the Lord. What is the meaning of worshiping the Lord? That means we experience the kingdom of God, God on earth. When it comes to the kingdom of God on earth, and there is a kingdom of God, everlasting kingdom of God, after death, in the book of Ephesians, Revolution chapter 21 verse 1, there was an everlasting, the new heaven and new earth. And there is another kingdom of God on earth that we must enjoy right now. That is a kingdom that we must enjoy on earth. The best blessings from the Lord and best answer from the Lord is the kingdom of God on earth. Jesus said, Acts chapter 1 verse 3, He presented Himself alive to them for 40 days and He just focused on this kingdom of God talking to His disciples was to enjoy these blessings of kingdom of God on earth. That is worship service. In other words, the, it's a feast, the, the worship service itself is the feast on, in heaven. In, in other words, it's a time for us to experience the throne of the kingdom of God on earth. And uh, hymn number 27. The majestatist said, In front of on the Savior's grace overflow, majestic sweetness sits in front upon the Savior's grace overflow. That is a time of worship. Then 27. Since from his bounty I receive such proofs of love, the old all be thine, Lord, I should be thine. So you must present yourself before Lord and you must enjoy this kingdom of God on earth. And living sacrifice means that we are linked to the world. That is the feast in heaven and the blessings of the throne of the heaven and which will be related and delivered to the world. So we call it living sacrifice. And 
and you must find that God is everything in during this worship service. And in this world, the worship service, let us enjoy uh, the God on earth. Many people think that there are two ways, a life for worship and a life in the world. As an old people, they experience so many difficulties and trials and everything they experienced, then they end up having this conclusion that the worship is the best. They can confess their life, um, their walk of faith like this, but young people might have difficulty confessing their faith with all sorts of difficulties they have never experienced. They went to the work places and they went to this school, their school. They might think that it might be easier for them to live a double-sized life. A life of worship and a life in the world. That is a full of things for them to think about and have such a life. That is misperception and that is wrong doing things. What is the most desperate things for us to do? For us to need is God's words and God. So with God's word, then everything will in place. Why do you think that there are so uh, never ending difficulties and trials and disasters and sufferings happening all around this world? The most important thing is that and his words and God, God's words and the world are exactly the same. But they might think, the young people might think that it's totally different. God's words are totally different from the world. but. It may seem um, to be right, but their life in the world is in the midst of sufferings. That is the most foolish thought that your life would be two pages, life in worship and life in the world. If you will truly enjoy the kingdom of God on earth, then you can relay the worship service to the world. Unless you enjoy the worship service on earth, you might misunderstand that the life would be in different way, two ways. Worship service most directly related to the world. And it's not the end. But also you need to find uh, all this worship service in your events and accident and all matters in your life. And in the history of humans, then God will work on work on you as a sec, um, uh, as a witness. There are so many things happening around us, but do, um, during this moment that you are this, the one who will solve those problems, you are. You will be the solution. There might be someone who persecuted you. The persecutor might have faced difficulties as well. You must stand as the one who will give the answer, a solution. That is a living. That is a living disciple. You must relay this word service to the events of the world and relate to this event in your life. That is not only just have the worship service, but also you will be the witness in your field, and you are also the solution of all the matters, and you are the one who will give the solutions to others. That is a living sacrifice. As an example of the early church, they are the living sacrifices. There are the witnesses to the, all the matters happening in this field, and there are the solution to the, all the matters in their fields, and they are the answers 
for the uh, for others. That is the early church members. Therefore, God really wants us to recover this blessing of the living sacrifice. So, t h i s reverend, you must recover yourself as a living sacrifice in the name of Jesus Christ. And second, to give yourself as a living sacrifice, you must know the main character of the worship service. Who is the main character in this worship service? We are not giving the worship service because of others. The worship service is not presented because to meet your needs or satisfy others' needs. It's not to receive all the blessings. The purpose of worship service is only Christ. Of course, we need to gain the big power and strong strength from the Lord. But most of all, the bottom line is that the purpose, or what is the purpose of the worship service, which is Jesus Christ. Malachi chapter, chapter 1, verse 10 says, From the rising sun to the sunset. He's talking about his name, great. And from the rising of the sun to its setting, my name will be great among all the nations, and all the nations will come with the very unblemished offerings among all the nations. God's glory will be great among all the nations. And in, in these Gentiles and all the nations will come. In every place, incense will be offered to my name. What is the incense? What is clean offering? Malachi chapter 1 verse 14. When you give the sacrifices that the um. They must come with the unblemished and soft offerings. But you are giving the sacrifices what is blemished. So cursed to be the cheat. That is verse 14. They're giving sacrifices, but they will be cursed because they are giving the blemished. That is chapter. Chapter 1, verse 14. And this that will shed a blood from this unblemished lamb. That is a sacrifice. They shouldn't bring this blemished sacrifices. What is what this unblemished sacrifice stands for? What is the example of this unblemished sacrifice, which is Jesus Christ? That is Jesus Christ, who will come in flesh and will sacrifice on the cross to save all the people. And chapter, Hebrew chapter 9, verse 12 says, By the blood of Not by means of the blood of goats or calves, but by means of his own blood, securing the eternal, an eternal redemption. As a young lamb, the sacrifice, blood sacrifices, he will sacrifice his life, he will cross, be crucified. That is the recovering of the worship service. That is from the rising of the sun to the setting. His glory will be presented to all the nations. In other words, our worship service must sing for Christ. It must focus on Christ. It must give all the glory to the Lord. 
That is a true worship and true recovering worship. And the prophet in Malachi was given a word that God said, shut the doors. They must come before the Lord, grab hold of Christ, unblemished with unblemished animals, but with blood sacrifices, he said, shut the gates. Without Christ, God will not accept the sacrifice and the worship service. Jesus said to the Pharisees, destroy this temple, then I will restore this temple in, th in three days. Then they just had been I had spent uh, 46 years building of this temple, but how could you destroy this building, this church? And you can rebuild this in three days. Actually, the temple represents the body of Christ. So true worship and the temple itself is Christ. So you must focus on only Christ. You must get rid of everything that stopped you from focusing on worship. Think about your worship service. Who is the main character in your worship service? If it's not, if you find anything not, um, unrelated to Christ, if you are focusing on the events or other matters without Christ, that is not the true worship service. You must focus on only Christ. And through this worship service, you must deeply experience and find Him. In your worship service, finding Christ in worship service means that it is far reach it for us to find him in our worship but christ is the only solution in all matters in our life so christ will come into our heart and mind and he will be imprinted in us then you that's why you must get into this worship service worship service so you must imprint christ in your thoughts and mind that is the most important things for you to do but the evil spirit evil satan tried to stop you grabbing hold of only Christ. All the sacrifices, all the sufferings that you dare to have, but the evil spirit tried to give you the message that you must lose hold of Christ in your life. You can do everything but except if you do everything except grabbing hold of Christ, then you will find the destruction. You will find the end. And you will end up the destruction in your life if you lose hold of Christ. So if you grab hold of the worship service without Christ, that is the religious life. You do not know the, the subject you must worship for. That is the strategy of Christ, of, of Satan. All the church are dry, trying to do many things except Jesus Christ. They do their voluntary works and they do all the sufferings. They do a lot of work. But as time goes by, all the church members just fall into all the difficulties and disasters and curses. You must sing for only the Lord. Jesus Christ you must focus on Christ, only Christ, who is the main character in your worship service. You will be healed in worship service and you will get strength during the worship service. You might get some comfort from the worship service, but it's not the main purpose of worship service. Of course, you can get comfort in somewhere else, but in this worship service, you must give the glory to the Lord and you must find this purpose main purpose of the worship service, which is Christ. 
Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 13 says, If it's the Lord your God you shall fear, Him you shall serve, and by His name you shall swear. And verse 15 says, God is a jealous God. He really wants us to worship only for the Lord, and He really wants us to love only the Lord. And sometimes we find ourselves focusing on something else. And you must look back to your past in your worship service. But you must give all the glories only to the Lord. Then you must exalt only His name in your life. And uh, destiny of the worship service is different than that is wrong. It's, to, it's for your successful life. It's for, for your winning. It's not the Christ, um, the reason why God exists. You must give all the glories to Christ. You must come before the Lord to worship only Christ. Then if you find this main character to Christ in your worship, if, what is the sign that you really truly believe in only Christ? That is the message, especially the preaching messages from which you must not lose hold of His words. That, that is a sign that you really truly believe that the main character is Jesus Christ. No matter who is giving the messages on Philbit, the true worship service, true worshiper will definitely get the, uh, the main messages from them or any kinds of messages with Christ that present yourself as a living sacrifice that is really pleasant with Christ. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 that God really wants us to show yourself. It's not your offerings. It's not what you are doing. What God really wants to receive from us is that it's you. God really wants you. Which means you must renew yourself. You must renew these words yourself. You must change your thoughts every day. With your standard, with your own standard, with your own background, must be changed every day. During even during the worship time, you always put your stubborn heart. You always focus on your standards. You must change your standard. You must renew yourself. Do not come before the Lord with your own thoughts and minds on your stubborn hearts. You must, little by little, you must change this. You are not the absolute standard. We have Christ. We have the gospel, that is, which is only the absolute standard. Of course, you might, some, you might lose something, but it's beneficial for the worship service. You must do this. You must grab hold of the covenant. You must grab hold of the gospel. And verse 2 says that you must not rely on the world. You must get rid of everything that is related to the world. The main character, the purpose of worship service is Christ. So you must show yourself. You must present yourself before the Lord. Uh, the, the worship service a year ago must be different the worst from the worship service now. You must put your Lord in the center of your worship service. Let's, let's come to the conclusion. As a living sacrifice, you must give a living worship service to the Lord. There is nothing more important than this. Of course, evangelism and field and healing people are important the, but one of the most important things for us to do is worship service 
through which we can find all the answers, solutions to all matters. We have everlasting commission that is living worship service. And to make a living worship service, Sunday service must be your main field for you. That is the main field that you worship, where you worship the Lord. And after finishing this service, this service must be linked to your family, field, study, and business. In other words, you must extend your life with this worship service to your field, to your study. So that you can save your field. Therefore, if you have the true worship service, then you can save your field. So the title is for us today is the church that continues the true worship service. So God is seeking the true worshipers and God is seeking the true churches. So going through these difficulties, we organized everything, we organized this worship service, then we come to the conclusion that we must give this true worship service, we must build up these churches that continues this true worship service so that we can save everything around us and we can, so that we can get the answers from the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. The true worship service is, will be definitely uh, saving all, everything. Like we come before the Lord as a living sacrifice, as a true main character in our worship. We will restore this worship service. Then without doing this, then you give this word, close the, shut the gate doors. So it is which is a scary words. You are the main character in worship service and presenting ourselves to the Lord. And it will be the main focus us for us here in these churches and will be used and the blessings of the Lord and there must be the hidden uh, plan from the Lord during these difficulties and you have the special plan for this nation and for this world and grab a hold of your covenant want to be used by the hands of the Lord and it will be the church that will be the nations will be that will be used by your hands and you will have compassion on this world and especially please heal people and it's, uh, because of this coronavirus so many people are suffering financially mentally and physically please give them the healing power and we're praying for the medical staff and all the authorities and the who will have this new start after finishing this all this pandemic and the who will have restore this public worship service please bless us lord bless all the church members and their family and they will god they will be guided body by you and they will experience your guidance and through this we will open the door for the worldly mentalism and missions. Please keep pouring your blessings on us. And people who are sick mentally, physically, and spiritually, they will be built up, they will be used as the evangelist with a spirit. Let us pray all together.